Hello folks and welcome. So I have a video here on uh, Linux Mint 21.1. I'll just pull up the welcome screen here for a second. And uh, this is a video for brand new users of Mint. Linux Mint 21.1 Cinnamon Desktop. And if you are brand new, I'll say a special welcome to you. Uh, this video is basically uh, something that I think every new user should know. Okay, so I'm going to just show you some very, very basic settings that could be helpful to you. Um, I'll talk a little bit about desklets, large calendars, and uh, how to add an applet down here for your, um, your caps lock key and your numeric lock key in a visual format. I'll also talk about the same uh, if you're wanting to have those keys posted to your screen. So right now I'm pressing the caps lock key and nothing's happening because they're turned off by default. So I'm going to talk about all that stuff today and uh, talk about notifications and um, some desklets and, and uh, applets today. It's going to be a very basic video. None of my videos on my new YouTube channel are less than two minutes, but they all have chapters or timelines and you can hit stop on your player. If you don't want to subscribe or don't have a Google account, uh, you can always uh, basically bookmark this. That way you can watch this in chapters if you like. So now I'm going to continue and right clicking on my panel bar. And if you're brand new to Linux Mint, special welcome to you. This is the panel bar. System settings. I can also go to the Mint menu and click the same under system settings. So let me do that. Let's first talk about activating some keys. All right. So first of all, um, we have accessibility options. We have a high contrast. That does that. We have large text, but did you also know you can turn on keys over here that will give you an indicator on your desktop if you press the caps lock key like that. There's also a sizing factor to that message. So let me click this back and hit notifications. You see where it says media keys OSD sized medium. Okay, I'm going to press that caps lock key again just to let you see the size of it. And then I'm going to click small. And then I'm going to click large. You may want this one. So that's found in your notification settings under media keys. It's the last item. Very simple to do. All right. Another thing is windows. If you like to move these keys up here from here to there, it's very simple to do. Button layout, right to left. It's that simple. And there's a couple more combinations for you. Okay. So I'm going to move those back to the right. All right, so we have a couple of options also when it comes down to desklets. What's a desklet? This is a desklet. And you can click it in here. And you can also find this particular calendar desklet in the download section. Okay, now please keep in mind that Linux Mint has three versions, actually four. Uh, uh, there's two Cinnamon desktops. One is LMDE5, and this is Linux Mint 21.1 Cinnamon. There's also an XFCE and a Mate. This is the Cinnamon version. So I had somebody ask me something similar about this calendar. Uh, I think it was a couple of weeks ago. So just keep that in mind. All right, so you can download stuff and install it. But if you want this particular one, um, you, it's called Calendar Desklet. You can configure it here, or you can configure it right on your desk top by hitting configure and you've got a bunch of options like I changed my Sundays to yellow and my Saturdays to green for instance and then you can change the size of this thing to a massive if you like I'm gonna have to pull that in a little bit and then you can go dinky well that's just my term for it and then you can change the transparency and that comes in handy if you have uh, wallpapers that are backgrounds may I change the wallpaper just briefly here to give you a demo on this I will pick something with color in it. How about this uh, grease? Now you can see that desklet is semi see-through. As I right click on it and configure that and drag that to 100%, it, will, it is now completely see-through. I will move the calendar in here. Okay, so that's one option. Let me change this back to a dark background. Let's use that one. All right, how about this uh, caps lock key business. Well, would you like to have a key over here that stays here to let you know that that's, um, well, active or deactive? All right, so there's a couple of different ways you can do this. You can go to uh, right-click, 
on your panel bar, System Settings, and uh, you can go to Applets this way. You can also right click on the panel bar and click Applets here. It looks like a puzzle piece. What you're looking for for your caps lock is hit the download key and allow it to refresh and just type in three little letters CAP and what I'm using is uh, I will be using is this lock keys indicator with notification it's a nice little tool I'm gonna actually hit the install key which is the down arrow it will put it into manage and then you click it once and hit plus to make it visible on your panel bar However, it doesn't turn visible until you configure it. So you'll see it blink down here. And then you need to hit the gearbox and turn it on. It's very simple. Do you want notifications or not? I do. I'm what, I want the uh, caps lock indicator and the numeric lock or num lock indicator. I don't really care about the screen lock. And now it's ready to go. Now you can see that sitting here and my caps lock key is off and my numeric lock key is off. That's the A for alpha. That's my caps lock and the number one is for numeric lock. So I'm going to press my numeric lock and you'll see a post-it note here also. But this stays and uh, the notification will go away. And this will remain here. That tells me my numeric lock key is active or on. Now I'm going to press the caps lock key. So I get this little post-it box, I get the notification, and this remains on my screen. There's nothing more embarrassing than opening up your web browser and your failing logins onto your bank or wherever you are going that requires a username and password. So that's a good thing to check right before you get onto that website. Now I'm going to depress the caps lock key again. Some of you folks out there have indicators on your um, keyboards that have that caps lock key indicator, but a lot of keyboards don't. But more importantly, I find this icon helpful either way. So just some simple settings for you folks today. I'm not gonna make the video any longer, and I'll just say thank you for watching. You folks take care.